galloping runners, crashing bodies, dogged determination, the backbone of Kansas football. The University of Kansas Jayhawks have always had a proud football tradition, and now they are aspiring to new heights of glory with the arrival of head coach Mike Godfrey. Gottfried is giving Jayhawk football a fresh look with new offensive and defensive alignments. He is motivating the players with his positive winning attitude. And he is thrilling Kansas fans with a wide open explosive offense. Mike Gottfried is returning Kansas to the ranks of successful programs. He is restoring pride and confidence to Kansas football. The frustrations and setbacks of rebuilding are coming to an end. The Jayhawks are on the go, moving from transition to triumph. A softball game is an unlikely climax to spring practice. But then, nothing about Mike Gottfried is typical. Like all winning coaches, Gottfried has his own unique approach. And that includes an emphasis on the total development of his players. Well, we conclude our spring practice with a picnic. And uh, one of the things we do is have a softball tournament amongst our players. It's a great time to have fun and uh, it concludes our spring practice but it also shows another side. We try to enjoy uh, our entire 12 months at college and uh, have a lot of fun. Godfrey takes a genuine interest in his players above and beyond their performance on the gridiron. His concern has impressed another recent arrival at Kansas, new basketball coach Larry Brown, a man who has coached at all levels of competition. He's a special guy. I, I've watched their practices. I'm, I'm really a football fan. I've seen spring practice and I see the way he relates to the kids, the way he cares about kids. If I was a football player, I, I'd no doubt play for a guy like him. When you're around somebody that cares, um, wants to give you a chance to be the best possible student athlete you can be, you can't go wrong. Gottfried took a program that was searching for identity and gave it purpose. He established discipline on and off the field. He gave the players that crucial ingredient that turns individuals into a team. He provides that leadership and then he makes you want to learn and just give 110% for him so you can prove yourself to him. Well, Coach Gottfried and his staff, they're very young and uh, they're a pretty exciting bunch of people. It was good to work with them. They stress. Uh, Pride, you know, we ought to have pride in ourselves and we need to perform well and we should always attempt to do that. Pride comes from success. And success has followed Mike Gottfried throughout his career. He has turned struggling programs around with his strategic innovations and his ability to motivate and inspire players. It was this combination that attracted him to athletic director Monty Johnson. He's probably the most complete coach that I've ever had the chance to work with. Uh, he's a great public relations person. He enjoys the kind of uh, job that he has, gives a full commitment to it uh, of both time and talent. Uh, I think Mike Gottfried might be one of the best all-around coaches that I've seen in terms of the qualities that you look for in a head coach. Gottfried's winning attitude is perfect for a school like Kansas. The Jayhawks have a proud tradition of athletic excellence and a long line of brilliant success stories. John Riggins' record-breaking performance in Super Bowl 17 thrilled a national audience 
and gave the Washington Redskins their first NFL Super Bowl championship. Wide receiver David Verser was a natural for the high-powered aerial offense of the Cincinnati Bengals. And it was his tenure at Kansas that prepared him for life in the NFL. You know, I picked up a lot of uh, experience and things that I need to know to uh, play in the pros. And once I got there, I kind of realized some of the things, the little things that I did at Kansas really paid off and helped me get to where I am now, which is with the Cincinnati Bengals. The history of sports at Kansas is a saga of outstanding athletic achievement, a who's who of great athletes. To be an athlete at the University of Kansas is to play in the shadow of giants. At the University of Kansas, the type of athlete that's played here and developed here as a student athlete, the Gail Sayers, the John Hados, the John Riggins, the David Versers, we could go on and on about the type of athlete that's been here. But outstanding chance to play uh, class football and go to a great institution. The University of Kansas is recognized as one of the finest public universities in America. In recent months, the New York Times looked at the 250 leading public and private institutions of higher learning and determined that indeed the University of Kansas was one of the 10 best public universities. We are very proud of our academic reputation. We are anxious to be exceptional in any and all fields in which we participate. The library system, research facilities, and faculty at Kansas are outstanding, providing students with unlimited career preparation and academic opportunities. The university is especially proud of the scholastic achievements of its athletes. The academic counseling program administered by Dr. Mike Fisher produces results and has amassed an impressive track record. In the past, we've had a high percentage of our student athletes uh, graduate, over 90 percent. Uh, we rank in the upper 10 percentile of the CFA schools in regard to our graduation and retention rates. Fisher and his staff counsel the players, monitor their scholastic performances, and provide individual tutoring and assistance when needed. Especially important is the mandatory study halls for all freshmen. You know, you're a freshman, you come in, and a lot of parties going on. But if study halls are required, and you have to do it. So you go in there, you know, everything's quiet. It's a good place to concentrate and ready to get down until you work. You know, for an hour, hour and a half, you know. And when you go home, you can finish what you didn't get done in study hall. But not all of a player's time is devoted to studying and practice. Social life is an important part of the college experience. The student body at Kansas is quite diverse with students from all 50 states and nearly 100 foreign countries. This variety provides students with opportunities to expand their social and cultural background. This interaction takes place in an atmosphere of friendliness and down-home charm that has made the Midwest famous. Everyone is so nice, and they'll just say hi to you walking up and down the campus and everything. And when you're, you know, first come to Kansas, you're real nervous, as you would be any college. And everyone's very outgoing and just down, down to earth. It's real pleasant. There's plenty of people around here from different backgrounds to make friends with, so it's really a good place to meet new people and have a lot of fun. The arrival of a new coaching staff always has a profound effect on a program. Rules and attitudes must change as new plays and alignments are installed. Everyone expected a wide open explosive offense under Mike Gottfried. But many people didn't realize that he would be changing the Jayhawks defensive philosophy as well. Gottfried stresses a big play, aggressive defense, the kind of defense that will make things happen. So we're trying to confuse offenses, we want to gamble, we want to take uh, chances, we want to stunt, we want to play exciting football and defense for the fans.
The big play defense and explosive offense of the Jayhawks have ignited the Kansas faithful. Now the fans eagerly anticipate the hysteria and hoopla of game day when the Jayhawks play at home. It's really crowded and people are yelling and screaming and really rooting our team on and it's full of excitement. It's fun, it's excitement. The people really get into the game and they're supporting the team and it's a great afternoon. It's very up and it's a neat feeling of unity among the crowd and the team and the alumni. We have a very good alumni here at Kansas and it's just a good overall feeling of unity and a lot of pride. Pride is a word you hear a lot these days at Kansas. There is a new awareness of the tradition and excellence associated with Jayhawk football. There is a sense of leadership, a belief that Kansas can once again compete and win in the prestigious Big Eight Conference. This rebirth of enthusiasm and excitement is most evident on the gridiron. Mike Gottfried has done more than just change strategies. His leadership goes beyond X's and O's. He has given the players confidence. He has shown them that they can win. He has made them realize just what it means to be a Kansas Jayhawk play with pride. Uh, we feel like at the University of Kansas you can be a Heisman Trophy winner, you can be a first team All-American, you can lead the nation in statistics. So it's important for us to represent this university in a fine manner. The time to come to Kansas is now. Jayhawk football offers superior academics, outstanding facilities, and the opportunity to compete in the nation's toughest conference. The dynamic leadership of Mike Godfrey, the enthusiasm of the students and alumni, and the commitment of the university are creating a new era in Kansas football. The Jayhawks have turned the corner. Their star is rising. They are on the go, moving from transition to triumph. This is a story of courage. This is the story of a group of young men who against formidable odds discovered the secret of teamwork and the secret of winning. Dedicating body and soul to the common goal, the Cowboys of Oklahoma State University rode their way to a winning season that was capped in the Houston Astrodome on New Year's Eve. Who are these young men who provide countless thrills to their legions of fans on Saturdays? Who are the coaches who lend their wisdom and leadership to this team to mold it into a force to be dealt with in the Big Eight Conference? What is the heart and desire that has made this team strive boldly to establish itself as one of the best football teams in all of America. As you will find out, wearing the orange and black of the Cowboys is a mark of pride and accomplishment. Oklahoma State football players have shown that with love, unity, and hard work, everything is possible. This is their story. Oklahoma State University is one of the most respected academic institutions.